What's up everybody, Fox Radito here and we're back again with another video and this time we're not gonna be playing a game or anything like that I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how I make my how I make my gaming videos so I'll be going through how I edit my audio how I edit my videos and even what I use to record my gameplay and so forth uh, but I don't know, I'm also going to be showing you how I also make my thumbnails if, if it, my Photoshop will actually work well because it always has a problem where it lags when I record so we'll see how, how it will go but yeah this is I'm going to be showing you on how I make my videos I actually got this idea from someone who commented on my last video asking me how what I, what I used to record so I decided why not just make a video on how I just said how I just make my videos so yeah enough of the talk let's just get started so what I used to record what I usually used to record is called FBX game recorder it's free you can go and get it to be down in the description below the link to go and get it so yeah this is pretty much how it looks like it records pretty well without any lag I've never I never run into lag that much while I record games. So after you record your videos, after you record your gameplay and everything, because this usually only records gameplays, so it can't record your screen. So I'm done with the gameplay and everything. Uh, like this video is one that it's um, I haven't yet edited, but it will, be, it will soon be out. You can watch out for that. If you want to put maybe some watermarks and everything, you can also use it here. You can put some images if you want. Uh, captions sounds slow mo but for these other ones you have to actually have pro so after you have already recorded your gameplay and everything like that you're going to have to go to where you, the your footage is saved so mine I just saved it in the default default place where it is where it usually is so yeah pretty much where uh, it saved the video and here it is so here's the gameplay footage that you have already recorded and everything so what you're gonna need next is to record your audio so what i pretty much use to record my audio is audacity pretty much this is what most people use or most youtubers use so what you just need to do is if you have a, any microphone you just click it so i'm just gonna record a little sample okay for some reason it wasn't recording my audio so i pretty much took an old raw raw audio that i haven't even edited yet so this is what it sounds like so i'm just gonna I'm going to use only this part of the audio. So, as you can see, Zoom game <coughs> settings, achievements, feedback, seven quick. So you can see it sounds pretty shitty. It sounds pretty shitty, but I don't have the best mic. So yeah, for me, for me, you're not going to hear that much of a change. So I, you can copy my chain. You can pretty much edit your own chain and make your own chains that you can that you can use. So. I actually found some of my chains from another YouTuber called PDJ. You can go and check his video and put it down also down in the description below. And also a link to where to download Audacity. So this is pretty much how you need to set up your chain so you can just put all the effects all together. So first of all, it, you're going to have to put equalization. And first, you're going to put bass boost and just put a uh, where you feel most comfortable. You don't want to put too much bass and too much. Uh, too low you aren't putting where exactly you feel it's okay for you like me I already have a preset of what I like next you're going to have to put actually if you want to actually put this to actually insert it you're going to have to click insert then click insert find the, the effect that you want and then edit from parameters then yeah then next there are next equalizations that you're going to put it's it's the trap you're going to have to put YouTube trouble so you don't want to put too much trouble on your sound, on your voice or too low. You can, like I like I said, in YouTube base, you just have to put it where you feel most comfortable with it. Like me, that's where I like it. And the next and the next effect that you want to put is compressor. It's, you can copy down my settings that I have that I have. There, I don't really much change anything here. The only thing I change is this one. from time to time. It depends on your audio. This, it sometimes makes it low or loud, low or loud. So for me, I prefer it at 13 decibels. So yeah, that's okay for me. Then next, you're going to have to put normalize. You can copy my settings again. You can just post the video and copy my settings. And next, you're going to have to put limiter. Put, copy my settings again. Don't need to repeat that. 
Yeah, you can amplify your audio. So after putting all that, you just need to save it. Then you're going to have to, to double click to double click your audio, press apply chain, then apply to current pro, current project. So it's going to put all this all the settings that you need. So you can see my audio is pretty much now louder and then uh, than it was before. But if you listen to this, that is the background the, the background noise and you don't want that in your video. So I usually remove this is going to highlight all this go to effect noise reduction get noise profile after it also if you, it depends on how long your video is if you, uh, your audio is if your audio is really long it will take some time to get the noise profile so you just going to have to double click this again uh, noise reduction and copy my settings again you don't need to copy to press this again just copy my settings this will be opened up for you uh, you can copy my settings yeah and don't put this to residue put this to reduce then okay you can see there's a slight change it depends on it will depend on your mic so you can see a lot of change so this is how it sounds now resume game <coughs> settings achievements feedback seven quick so now it sounds a bit better so after you've already gotten your audio you have already edited your audio and everything now you need to get to the editing your actual video and then posting it on youtube so what i pretty much used to edit my videos is sony vegas pro 16. okay it kind of took a while because of uh, i have a lot of plugins installed so after you have already opened your editor first you are going to have to click this settings button right up right up here then you're going to just copy my you can just copy my settings over here so your video so you can actually get the best quality while also rendering rendering so and the pretty much uh the most important part what you want to do is this resample mode if you don't actually put if you don't actually change this i'm going to show you another way where you can change you can change it without going here uh, if you don't do this your video is going to come out blurry a bit it's not gonna be that great so what you have to put is disable resample uh, full resolution uh, to best and yeah you can also put your, your video quality to 1920 by 1080 and also your frame rate to 60 fps then you can just save it and apply then okay so you what you need to do next is now put all the videos that you actually want to make so we're just gonna drag in one okay so i just took a uh just a random clip that i recorded for for minecraft and my other my actual ed edited audio for my minecraft let's play that i use but i'm not going to use that myself yeah you all you need to do is drag in your footage and you're gonna have to press no so it actually leaves these settings as, as it is the minecraft and here's your audio so I'm just gonna look at this. okay so this is pretty much your video zoom game <coughs> settings achievements feedback seven two. yeah not really much <laughs> much is there is it so what i usually do first uh we're gonna let's okay for the intro in which you know i usually put like a zoom in first so pretty much what i do is i click this pan and crop then at this first keyframe i zoom in i zoom in a bit as much as you want then i'm going to go like oh i messed up a bit okay so i'm so you're going to have to clip where you want you want the intro to be so click the pan and crop button uh you zoom in like i said go in a few frames in the front not that much then you turn it back to how it was just like a nudge you can stop right there then you go to the end right click then restore then this is pretty much how it's going to be it's going to go like that as you could see here you couldn't see that well so you're going to have to highlight all so you can just click here then you drag it right click 
they are going to upgrade to smooth then you are going to click this frame and put it to fast so when you play it goes go like that uh, let's turn down the preview So you can see that's pretty much now how it looks. It looks much more better and everything. So after you have done that, I like to put in some color corrections. Some color corrections in my video. In my video. So we're gonna go to the effects button right here. Yeah, I have a lot of plugins. <laughs> so you're going to have to click correct uh, color corrector secondary, color curves, saturation adjust, and sharpen. Click add, then OK. Also, these settings that I'm using is the same settings that I said that I was using from a YouTuber called Prodigy. They're pretty good for me. So, you can copy them. And go to color curves. This pretty much doesn't have a, doesn't have the settings. So, you're going to have to look which one actually you feel is right, which you think is good. You don't have to put the color corrections. The, this comes because sometimes it makes the video some videos actually look bad but okay after you have already put the color cards you go to saturation adjust and copy the settings again then you're gonna have to put sharpen you don't want to put too much sharpen because it will also make the video look bad you don't want the video to look like this like seriously who will watch this <laughs> so just need to just put it a bit low. You don't have to put that much on it. Is it like that's okay? You can pretty much tell the difference. It doesn't look that well, but after I put some color corrections and everything, it actually looks a bit better. So I'm gonna open one of my presets because I can't show you everything. And next, I'm going to show you how I put that little pop-up thing that you always see so you just have to press the panel drop so i have keyframes over here so the first one your logo if it's actually the default way it will look like it's it's boxed in so what you need to do is actually right click it's going to click here and click this 16 16.9 wide screen to get the ratio so it can actually open up a bit so you can actually have much more work to do it so first i usually take this this over here and put it up then go a few frames in the front then i put it down a bit so it will be pretty much go down like that then i go up i take it up to put that kind of bounce effect then the next keyframe i, I restore it back in the middle so pretty much your end result is gonna be that you're going to highlight all this then right click and put smooth all of them no, you're not going to put fast or anything like the other one and that's pretty much it the outro you can make it out yourself pretty much what I do in my outro is this like there's a small builder That's pretty much how I put my audio. Only I just took uh, took a song that I that I like and pretty much split the audio and pretty much played with the audio levels a bit so it usually goes with the build up as you can see this. It's like a stairs. It's like stairs going up. It just continues like that. So yeah, that's pretty much how I edit my videos and how I make my videos. I don't know if it's gonna be that helpful but that's what I do, okay? So yeah, you can go and check <laughs> go and check in the description below on how to get FBX game recorder and the other YouTubers channel where you can find some good some good settings which you can actually use for your videos and good settings for audacity to make your audio much more better. And also I forgot to mention there is a, a software that I'm also going to put down in the description below. It's called Hungry. Mostly if if you actually render your video, you'll see that it actually has a, a huge file size. So you can pretty much use Handbrake to compress your phone your video your video file without losing any quality. So let me open it open it up. So this is it, you just need to drag your folder, then you are going to 
you just pretty much render out your video you can check out tutorials on that can, so it will pretty much uh, compress your folder so it will be much it will be in a lower size without losing any quality and it's going to upload upload much more quicker so yeah thanks guys for watching don't forget to smash that like button i hope you enjoyed this video i uh, hope it was pretty much helpful i'm not so great with this kind of tutorial videos so yeah thanks guys for watching and bye bye